tonight, obviously, you guys seem to click really well tonight. This is more of a work in progress, do you think, the forward defense? Yeah, you know, it's a tough game to evaluate just given how much uh, special teams were a factor. Obviously, our penalty killing gave up three today, a uh, couple off the rush, um, you know, different types of goals. But, you know, between the penalty kill, uh, you know, not getting the kills and, and it affecting the scoreboard and then just the amount of power plays both ways that impacted the bench and the flow of the game. Tough game that way, but I thought at five on five, I think we actually played a pretty good game. Uh, not a lot of offense. I didn't finish the opportunities we had. Probably didn't generate as many as we'd like or with as we needed to. Uh, but I thought we carried play pretty good at different at times, you know. And you know, I think there's a lot of positives in there that we'll find as we're watching the video. But special teams clearly a factor. How do you think Richie did, and how much of a challenge is it going to be for him to keep, keep up creatively with, with Mitch? Yeah, it's a challenge for sure. And again, you know, having four penalty kills in the first uh, period there and, and then, you know, two power plays um, that he's not a part of. So the first 24 minutes, you know, uh, there's there's six penalties uh, in the game. He's in the box for five minutes there, plus sitting because he's not on the penalty kill. So a tough way to really get going and get involved in the game. But obviously it was a physical factor there. And, and uh you see that he brings that. He had a couple chances too uh, to score himself. I thought he made a couple good passes as well as he shows the good hands that he has. So, you know, you're not going to read too much into one game here, especially a game like this where the first half, especially, we're riddled with penalties. David Kampf and uh, Andre Case created some chances too tonight, do you think? Yeah, I do. I, I like those guys uh, for sure. Uh, I thought uh, Kampf you know, on the penalty kill was very good for us, very good in the faceoff circle. Um, that line line was good. I think they had some good chemistry together. I think, uh, you know, uh, with Kasha, it's you know very clear. You know, not that it's a surprise, but you know we've got a number of guys here that are trying to figure out who they are and what they are in the NHL. But uh, Kasha is one of these guys that's you know very very evident when you watch him that he's an NHL player. And finally, Mrazek, do you think especially those two glove saves at the end kind of uh, found his footing as the game went on? Yeah, I think so. He didn't have a great deal of work. Um, you know, obviously he let one in early there, but uh, you know he he showed he's an athletic guy. He's going to make saves there. So I thought all our new guys here, you know, um, you know showed showed well in that sense in terms of Camp Kasha, Mrazic. Uh, you know, it's a tough day for Campbell just having to face so many penalty kills or you know power play. If Montreal was was feeling it today, so it was tough uh, tough that way, but. Like I said, we'll pull the positives out of this here. It's the first game for pretty much every guy, save for a couple. And, you know, it's, uh, you know, just a step in the process here for us. You touched on Cam earlier. Do you feel like his versatility could, could help him establish himself as a main top nine kind of guy? Yeah, yeah I, I think so. I mean, where it shakes out, I think, you know, we'll see how, how that all uh, solidifies itself. But it, I just know we have a good player there, a very versatile player that's going to help us a lot. You know, a guy that knows exactly who he is and what he needs to do, uh, willing to take on defensive responsibilities and, and know that, you know, that's what he does to help the team. You know, I think, you know, with he and Kasha both, you got two guys, you know, that are very versatile and can, can do different things for us. Kasha, we know, is a good, good finisher on the net as well. Like we saw here today, and he, he scored in the league. Um, so, you know, those are two good players for us and, you know, we're going to, you know, I'm going to enjoy getting to know them better as players and as people as we move along here. But today, a uh, good first step in that process. Yeah, I think that's it's fair to say that. Yeah, but I think you know, given the given you know the memo that's gone out and the way they're wanting to call it this season, I think it was an appropriate call, and players are going to have to adjust to it. Cuts tomorrow. Some small cuts. I'm sorry. Cuts. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say so, Lance. Just we've got our blue-white game coming up here, inter-squad game coming up on Friday, which we need two full teams for that. Plus, we have a back-to-back -back game coming up early next week, so we're not expecting things to shake up too much. Or, or at all, I should say. Yeah. Thank you.